here I go again. <laughs> yes, very good, Rosie. <laughs> good? This is brilliant, Raggles. <laughs> Star, it's a fluffy bug. <laughs> they flit and flap and tickle your nose, little bear. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Take out. <laughs> That's a lovely name. <laughs> well, I don't like them. They're creepy, crawly, and make me go all. <laughs> Oh, I don't know about you, but I'm ready for my bed. Raggles is right. It is time for bed. Why don't we meet here tomorrow morning? <laughs> and we can have more bouncing fun. <laughs> night, night, everyone. Night, night, night. Night, night. night, night. Fly, little fluffy bug, it's time to go home. <laughs> oh, I don't think it can fly. Mm. Key! Hmm. Little bear's right. You'd better stay with us until you can fly again. like to play at the playground, too. <gasps> playground! Oh, Tickle food! <laughs> I hope you're not getting too attached to that fluffy bug. <laughs> Sorry we're late. Ah, at last. Come on, give me a bounce, then. <laughs> what have you got there, little bear? Tickle. It's a fluffy bug. Oh, isn't it cute? Oh, keep it away from me. Why have you got it, little bear? It can't fly, so we're keeping him safe until he can. Isn't that right, little bear? Swings! Push! <laughs> I've never pushed a fluffy bug on a swing before. <laughs> hey, little bear, do you want to go on the trampoline? Ooh, tickle. He can't go on. He's not well. Oh. Rosie's right. The trampoline is too bouncy for tickle. Look, you play on the trampoline, and Bluebird can look after tickle. What? Ugh. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Bounce. Bounce. <laughs> I think he's getting it. <laughs> Tickle. <gasps> Tickle. What is it, little bear? 
Tickle's gone. <gasps> he can't have gone with a hurt wing. You were supposed to be looking after him, Bluebird. I was. He just gave me the slip. Don't worry, Little Bear. We'll find Tickle. That's right. And Bluebird can look after Little Bear whilst we're searching. Hey! Don't go! Come on, everyone. Birdie. Oh, my name is Bluebird. Hello, you two. Who won? Hello, Oakley. We're not racing. We're looking for a fluffy bug called Tickle. You haven't seen him, have you? Hmm. What does he look like? Um, he's yellow and fluffy and glows in the dark and... He looks like that! Tickle! Tickle! Here, Tickle! They all look the same to me. Tickle! It's just a bug. Bugs don't have names. Fine, but thanks for asking. Oh, there it is! Come on! I told him not to get too attached to the fluffy bug, but he went and gave it a name. Oh, there he is! Tickle! Tickle! Oh, come back! From bug to bear. We all care for each other in the garden of the world. Oh. Ma. <coughs> Ma. I haven't got any more. I want to get off. Little Bear! <laughs> Come and see! Hey, Little Bear! Look who we found! Oh, I've got someone to see you, Little Bear. To my nest for a sleep. Goodbye. Ah. <gasps> Tickle! Yes! No, I found Tickle. Actually, we did. We found us first. We did. Me? Are any of them your Tickle, Little Bear? No. Maybe it was time for Tickle to go. I'm sure he's happy. Wherever he is. That sounds like Bluebird. Calm down, Bluebird. How oh, can I? Disgusting. That's what they are. Horrid. What's wrong? We heard you scream. <laughs> this is what's wrong. A fluffy bug. <laughs> I sat on it. <gasps> Tickle! <laughs> you know what this means, little bear? Tickle can fly again. Bear, he belongs with the other fluffy bugs. <laughs> Look, everyone! <laughs> Tickle! <laughs> what about that? <laughs> bye bye! <laughs> Raggles buzzing on a trampoline? <laughs> no, silly. <laughs> I'm doing the fluffy bug. What's this fluffy bug's name, Raggles? Tickle. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's tickly. <laughs> Get off, Rosie. My new camera. Smile, Raggles. Raggles, you've been looking.
looking at that book all morning. It's got pop-up pages and everything. It's my best book. <laughs> I know you love it, Raggles, but I need you to look at the camera so that I can take your photograph. Jeez! Wow. Mm, not bad, but I look better from this side. <laughs> All right, Bluebird. One more. Now your turn, Raggles. Oh, what's that you've got there, Raggles? Can I see? It's my favourite book. It's got a tree, a bird. That's it. Some flowers. Raggles. Hello, you two. Oh, hello, Rosie. I'm trying to find something to keep Little Bear busy today while I make a Bosberry pie. What does Little Bear want to do? Oh, something different. He's played with all the toys at home. It pops up and everything. <laughs> Me. <laughs> I think Little Bear likes your book, Raggles. Maybe you could lend it to him, Raggles. Lend it? Well, I suppose so. Just for a little bit. Of course. But Little Bear might break it. I'm sure they'll look after it. <laughs> promise you'll be nice to it. We promise. Now, what do you say, Little Bear? Uh, thank you. We'll bring it back this afternoon so that you've got it to read in bed. That was really nice of you, Raggles. Oh, it's safe with Big Bear, and you'll have it back by tonight. Big Bear promised. I know, but, well, it's easy for you. It's not your precious thing. You're right, Raggles. How about I lend you my new camera? But that's your precious thing. And I trust you to look after it. Come on, we can take pictures of everyone. Who's first? <laughs> you have to ask. <laughs> The king. Remember, little bear, this is Raggles's most special thing, so be very careful. That's right. <laughs> Do it gently, little bear. We promise to look after it, remember? Ready, Bosberry Pie time. <laughs> Let's put Raggles' book somewhere safe. We don't want to get Bosberry juice on it. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> oh, no! Uh oh. <gasps> what have I done? Raggles! Oh, wait! Uh, uh, maybe it'll wipe clean. Whoosh! Good idea. Say cheese! Donuts! <laughs> Oops. This is a great picture, Raggles. It's very nice of you to lend Raggles your new camera, Rosie. I lent my super special book to Big Bear and Little Bear. What? The one with the pop-up pages? Your best one? I hope Little Bear's being nice to it. I'd better go and check. It'll be fine, Raggles. Why don't you come and take some pictures of Will playing football? That's a great idea, Holly. And Bluebird could go and check your books okay, couldn't you, Bluebird? Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Bluebird. Oh, it's okay. The juice is coming off. Oh. Cooey! Only me, Big Bear. 
Doing some washing. A book. Exactly why I'm here. Raggles is worried about his book, so Oakley suggested I fly over and check it's okay. It is okay. Um, I dropped it in the pie outside. <gasps> and you washed it? I think the juice is coming off. Well, so are the pictures. Look, they've gone all blurry. Uh, floppy. Oh, what am I going to tell Raggles? I promised I'd look after his book. Fear not. I'll magic it better. Close your eyes. By the power in my wings, make this book whole again. Oops. It's funny. My magic usually does the trick. Hmm. I'll go and get Rosie. She'll know what to do. Raggles will never talk to me again. <sighs> How about an action shot? Hooray! These are great pictures, Raggles. We'll need heaps of photo frames to put them all in. Rosie, we've got to talk. What is it? Ooh, camera. Flash those feathers. No, oh, Bluebird. Talk about what, Bluebird? Oh, um, you better come and see. It's about Raggle's book. I'll, uh, be back as soon as I can. Okay, Rosie. Cheese. What's happened? Is Raggle's book all right? Did Little Bear tear the pages? Not Little Bear. Me. <gasps> I dropped it in the Bosbury pie. Splat! I tried to wash it, but the pages have gone all blurry. <gasps> Poor Raggle's. He's going to be really sad. It does still pop up. But what's the use of a book without pictures? Pictures! That's it! Don't worry, Big Bear. I've got an idea. You have? Bluebird, can you keep Raggles busy for a little while longer? I can be his photographic model! <laughs> we need glue and scissors. You cut out, Big Bear. Me and Little Bear will do the sticking. <laughs> I know, hide and seek. Oh, we've already played that five times. Where's Rosie? Oh, I could do some more magic. No! no. I want my book back. Regals! Rosie, where have you been? We've been busy. And we've got your book, but... Accident! What sort of accident? We did our best to mend it. But we had to make some changes. Whoa! That's me and Holly. Oh, and look at me. Don't I look great? <laughs> There's me kicking my ball. And that's me again. What do you think, Raggles? It's not the same. <sighs> It's even better. I've got my book back and it's got all my friends in it. So I can have you with me all the time. Thanks, Big Bear. Cool. I couldn't have done it without Rosie. Rosie! Hey, why aren't I in that one? Raggles, we missed someone out of your book. There isn't a photo of you. Raggles? Whee! Pop up Raggles! <laughs> A pop up Raggles to put in the front of your very own pop up book! <laughs> Here comes another one! Whoop. Missed it! I love bubbles! <laughs> That's good, because here comes some more! <laughs> hey, here's Will! 
Hi, everyone. Watch what I can do. Who wants to see my rocket shot? It's amazing. More bubbles. Big Bear. Come and join in the bubble popping fun, Will. <laughs> Come on, Will. Rosie and Raggles are the best bubble blowers ever. Oh, my rocket shot is better. <laughs> Here's another one. Rosie and Raggles do love blowing bubbles. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy! bouncy. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Hello, Will. Not popping bubbles then? No way. Bubbles are boring. Really? Hmm. I always find them rather magical. <laughs> anyway, I'm off to see Holly. She's painting my portrait, you know. Oh, I see. I thought you were playing dressing up. Huh. Cheeky. Bouncy, bouncy. Bouncy, bouncy. <laughs> Look, how did Rosie and Raggles learn to blow such great bubbles? Oh, not Rosie and Raggles' wonderful bubbles again. I'm brilliant at things too, like football, and I'm just as good at making bubbles. I'll prove it. You'll see. Paintings of me have graced many walls, Holly. But this will be the finest yet. Oh, look, Safi. A bubble. So delicate, so magical, so... Oh, oh, uh. <laughs> it's tickly. I'm here! How do you want me? Relaxed? Dramatic. Ooh, what about an action pose? Sorry, Bluebird. I'm just finishing painting Safi. Could you, um, move a little to the left, please? But I thought you were painting me. Oh, yes, I will, Bluebird. After I've painted Safi. Well, how long is that going to take? Polly, can I borrow your hula hoop, please? Um, yes, of course. Oh, thanks, Holly. See you later. Like a summer breeze. One moment he's here, then the next he's gone. <laughs> oh, hello, Will. Hello, Big Bear. Can I borrow your paddling pool, please? Of course. It's a perfect day for a dip. It's not for paddling in. Oh? What are you going to use it for, then? <laughs> You'll soon see. One. Two. Two drops are enough, Rosie. It's a really strong bubble mixture. I'll do a test bubble to make sure. Rosie! Raggles! Hi, Will. Have you got any bubble mixture left? Yes, plenty. Well, if you let me borrow it, I'll show you the biggest bubble in the world. OK. But only use a little bit. It's really strong. <laughs> Is it my turn yet? <sighs> right, now for the bubble mixture. Hmm. Add two drops. One, two, oh, even better. Put the lot in. <laughs> it's lovely, Holly. But what about Bluebird? Oh, not yet, Bluebird. Not yet. Why don't you come with us, Bluebird? Will's going to blow some bubbles. Will? Well said bubbles were boring. 
Okay, everyone, prepare to witness the biggest bubble the universe has ever seen. Ooh. Oh, well done, Will. Nice bubble. Oh, I don't want nice. I want big. This time it's got to work. Watch this. a bit faster. I've been waiting so long. It's working! It's working! Look out, Will! Watch where you're going. Will! <laughs> Behold, my enormous bubble! <laughs> Strange. Bubbles aren't usually that strong. Come on, Raggles. Bluebird needs our help. <coughs> How are we going to get her out? Maybe it'll just burst. Not when you've used all the mixture. You've made an extra, extra strong bubble. Oh, Will. Uh-oh. <laughs> Catch that bubble! Oh, the perfect day for doing absolutely nothing. Oops! Sorry, Big Bear, but we've got bubble trouble. Oh. My, you are quite the artist, Holly. Thanks, Sassy. So, where's Bluebird? It's time to paint her portrait. Um, she's right behind you. Look out! Get me out! How are we going to get her down? I'm not sure, Raggles. This is all my fault. I wanted to show everyone I was the best at something. All I really wanted to do was show you my rocket football shot. Hmm. Could you show us your rocket shot now, Will? Kick it at the bubble and it might burst. can kick a ball quite like you, Will. <laughs> and no one can make a bubble like you either, I hope. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Are you ready to paint me now, Holly? No need. I've already done it. Oh, very funny. <laughs> <laughs> very funny. <laughs> Rosie, I wonder why bubbles are always round. Well, it's because well, they just are, I suppose. I wish I could make a square bubble. <laughs> or a lumpy one. <laughs> what about a rosy shaped one? That would be the funniest. <laughs> <Ow! Ugh. laughs> well, those are the best bubbles I've seen all day. <laughs> Rosie! Raggles! What? What's that noise? <laughs> I 
I've been practicing this for ages. And at last, it's perfect. You won't believe your eyes. Ready? Wow! That was amazing, Bluebird. Oh, what was that? My double reverse loop the loop, of course. Holly would love to see that. And Big Bear. And you should put on a show. <gasps> You're right. The most fabulous flying display ever. We could help. <laughs> That's it. We'll be um, the flying featherettes. Oh, how exciting. I've always oh, wanted... We have to practice. No time to waste. I need you two to make a big stage for my fabulous flying display. How big? Big. I'm a big, big star. I need a big, big, big stage. To the air, featherettes. What do you think? <clears throat> yes, well done, everyone. Um, it's a really good start. It was terrible. Wow! I don't have to listen to this. But it could be great if you walk together. These'll do. We'll have a stage in no time. They're a bit tatty. A few nails, bit of glue, they'll be fine. Bluebird wants it to be special, Will. We'll have to find the very best wood and do this properly. <gasps> that means slowly. Ah! It'll be so pretty if we put little flags around the edge. Great idea. We've got some in the playhouse. I'll bring the balloons. We can't have a show without balloons. You need to stay in the background a bit more. Remember, people will be coming to see me. <laughs> Bluebird. And me. And me. We're important too. That's right. You've got the most important job of all. Making me look good. <laughs> <laughs> How about that for a skid? <laughs> I thought we were working together, Will. <laughs> You're so slow, I can work and play at the same time. Here you go. We've got enough wood, thanks, Will. No worries. <laughs> now, all we've got to do is set up our stall. Stall? What stall? Popcorn and lollies. You can't have a show without popcorn and fruit lollies. <laughs> of course we can't. Let's go and get them. Ready, Featherettes? Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Excuse me, I have to be centre stage. So you keep saying. Huh. Well, what did you think? I'm not saying. You got in a huff last time. Oh, I know what you think. Oh, Raggles, can you please help me get the featherettes into shape? You want me to help? Okay. We'll do things the Raggles way. Sorry, little acorns. It's a flying display for birds. And you're not birds. You're... <laughs> <laughs> okay, Featherettes. First rule. If I could just say... Shh. The first rule is you must listen. We haven't got long until it's showtime. And the second rule? You all have to do the same thing at the same time. The same? But I'm Bluebird, the star. 
Like this. Let's go, featherettes. <laughs> hmm. Just needs a big dob of glue and it's finished. At last. Finished yet? Bouncy, bouncy, flitter, 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 flitter. This way, please. <laughs> no, this way. That's right. Flitter, flutter. Hey! <laughs> Hi, Bluebird. Your bird table's ready. I think you mean my stage. All eyes will be on me. Bluebird. <sighs> I mean, on us featherettes. Quick, it's time for the show. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. Oh. <laughs> Good luck, team. Go featherettes. Go featherettes. You won't try to slow me down this time, will you? What? I never slowed you down. You did. You couldn't keep up. <laughs> well, at least I don't waggle my tail feathers to get everyone's attention. Oh, well, that's it. I'm walking out. I'm walking out first. Psst, you're on. No, Raggles. <gasps> I'm off. <laughs> <laughs> the performance is cancelled. The featherettes are finished. <gasps> no. What? Why? What's happened? It's no good, Rosie. They all want to be the star. But I am the star. Hmm. You can all be stars for some of the time, but you'll have to take it in turns. Can you do that? We'd like to say a big hello and welcome you to our flying show. We go up, we go down, we go in between. We are the best you've ever seen. We are the flying featherettes. The swoop and twirl and pirouette. A faster than a rocket or a jumbo jet. We are the flying featherettes. Extra glue. Three. We work together in the end. <laughs> Come on then. <laughs> this is the end. It's time to go. We hope that you enjoy the show. And this the letter you won't forget. We're the fabulous, fearless, flying. Her flutter. <laughs> Whatever next? <laughs> Swoop and twirl and pirouette, faster than a rocket or a jumbo jet. I'm a star, don't you think, Rosie? Um, do you want the truth, Raggles? Do you want this banana and honey sandwich, Rosie? <laughs> You're a star, Raggles. <laughs> so are you, Rosie. Sometimes <laughs> we take it in turns. Hmm, it feels so good to get rid of all these things we don't want. Come on, Rosie. What is it, Raggles? Is there something you want to keep? Rosie! Ah! <laughs> 
Pickles, are you all right? <sighs> yes, we're fine, aren't we, Raggles? Phew. That's very pretty. You can have it. We're throwing these things away. We don't want them anymore. Well, thank you. It does seem a waste to get rid of things when they might be useful. Useful? It's just rubbish! Ah, but one person's rubbish may be someone else's treasure. Hmm, you're right. Thanks, Safi. Rosie! <laughs> Hello, Will. Ooh, making a go-kart. Go-kart? Does this look like a go-kart, Big Bear? Oh. We're going to keep all our clutter at the playhouse so everyone can choose the things they like. <laughs> <laughs> clutter, you say? Ooh, I've got so much clutter. Follow me, little acorns. <laughs> oh, a spot of recycling. Good idea, Rosie. Buttons, bottle tops. Quick sticks, bouncy bouncy. The bag's nearly full, little acorns. Nearly full? So where do I put the rest of my clutter? Hmm. Maybe we should find a way to collect everyone's clutter, Raggles. Another great idea. Thank you, Oakley. Oh, shells, beads, sequins. Oh, there must be hundreds. Do you really need them all, Holly? Well, <laughs> they do take up a lot of space. Oops! <laughs> all right, I'll get some things ready for the clutter collection. But who do you think might want them, Bluebird? Oh, I'm sure there's someone out there who could find a use for them. I'll have a look, Bluebird. I suppose I might have the odd bit of clutter that I could get rid of. Oh, not as much as Will. Look! They're not clutter. They're parts. I need them for my plan. <laughs> what plan? <laughs> what are you going to leave out for the clutter collection, Oakley? Oh, I'd love to help, Bluebird, but we trees don't have anything to get rid of. Yes, you do. Your leaves fall off every winter. Whee! True, but leaves rot on the ground and make food for other plants. Nothing is wasted. I wish we could be more like that, Raggles. Yes, but it's different for trees. All we need is sunlight, water, and a gentle breeze. Hmm. What we need is a clutter cart. It's time for the collection. No problem, Rosie. I'll get Will to help. Oh, but you like making things. Sorry, Raggles, I'm busy. And a clutter cart sounds boring. Hmm, what about a turbo-boosted supersonic waste blaster? Oh, I love your clutter cart, Will. It's a turbo-boosted, um, supersonic, um... <laughs> Whatever it's called, it's brilliant! Don't forget to pick up Big Bear's clutter. Hmm. 
I might just hang on to this wood. I'm sure I'll need it one day. Uh, come on, Big Bear. If I can get rid of my clutter, so can you. <laughs> I suppose my den will look better without it. <laughs> hmm, but the cart doesn't. Let's take everything back to the playhouse. Phew! Made it! I knew I had another piece of clutter. My old feathers. <gasps> no! Look! Oh dear. Now your cart's a pile of clutter too. Sorry, Will. <sighs> Come on. Let's find a good place to store these things. Hmm. That is a lot of clutter. Never mind. One person's rubbish is someone else's treasure. Everyone can choose what they like. <gasps> Come to Bluebird. La 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 la. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Robot. Hold these, Big Bear. <laughs> My turn. I want to play to. Whoa! Whoa! Sorry, Robot. It wasn't me. It was the clutter. It tripped me up. We've still got so much left over. Oh, we'll have to throw some things away after all. But that'd be a shame. Let's make some more special things. But everyone's got the things they want, Holly. Not everyone. What about Oakley? <laughs> Oakley's a tree. Trees don't need anything. Except sun, water and a gentle breeze. I've got a great idea. Goodness me. What's this? Hi, Oakley. We've got something. A very special something. To show you. Ready? Oh, I, uh, <laughs> not really. Uh, but, oh, go on. Yes. I've never seen anything like it. Um, what is it? It's a wind sculpture, Oakley. Or a turbo-boosted supersonic breeze blaster. The wheels were mine. It's just like you, Oakley. All it needs is sun, water and wind. We didn't waste a thing. See? Just like you. Well, thank you. It's the most amazing thing I've ever seen. I'll treasure it. Safi said one person's rubbish is someone else's treasure. We'll take it to show her too. Oh, yes, you must. Uh, but not just yet. <laughs> oh, I could watch it for hours. <laughs> There's so much space without all that clutter. Sorry, Raggles. No room for you in here. What? What? Good night, Raggles. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. I remember it as if it were yesterday. The wind was blowing so hard, I thought my roots would give way. Ooh. But, you know, from that day on, I always loved the wind in my leaves. <laughs> Almost as much as you love having me in your leaves, eh, Oakley? 
I mean, being a tree is hard work, but being a bluebird, on the other hand, is magnificent, swooping gracefully through the sky. I want to feel the wind in my face, too. So, you want to be a bird? No, I want to be a tree. But I want to play hopscotch, Rosie. We always play hopscotch, Raggles. Let's play hoopla. Hopscotch. Hoopla. Hey, Rosie. Raggles. You've got to come and see Holly. <laughs> you won't believe it. At last. Something we can do together. <laughs> what are you doing, Holly? I'm being a tree, of course. So, what do you do? When you're a tree, we feel the wind in our leaves. And we, um, we watch things and let small creatures play in our branches. And, and we help keep the air clean so it's nice to breathe. <sighs> I still think being a bird is best. Hello? Does anyone want to play? That's Big Bear. Fancy playing hoopla? How about hopscotch? It's got to be football. You get a really good view from up here, don't you, Oakley? You can see all your friends playing together, having fun. Oh, we trees have fun too, you know. We do? Yes. Little acorns. Bouncy Holly! Bouncy Bouncy! <laughs> 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 no hoopla. What's wrong with hopscotch? What's wrong with football? Let's not play football or hopscotch or hoopla. Let's play something new. I know. If Holly can be a tree like Oakley, why can't we play at being each other too? I'd make a brilliant will. Well, I'd make a great Rosie because I'm the best at everything. Oh, can I be you, Big Bear? You're always picking fruit and making nice things to eat. Mm. All right, Raggles. So long as I can be you, <laughs> I'd love to sit in your hammock playing yo-yo all day. <laughs> Let's swap then. Hi, Bluebird. Let's have a race. What are you doing on Will's go speeder? <laughs> I'm being Will. Ready to watch me win? Oh, Will, Will! Oh, that's not fair! You didn't say go! Come on, Will. Sing me a song. What? You're rosy. Rosie is always happy to sing a song for Raggles. <laughs> and I'm Raggles. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Raggles the rabbit, Ooh. you're the best. Raggles the rabbit, you're no pest. <laughs> right. Let's yo yo. <laughs> It's wonderful to watch what everyone is doing. But things do look strange from up here. I saw Rosie in the ghost speeder and Will singing and... Oh, oh my branches ache. Oh, <laughs> they're all trying to be someone else. Not me, though. Nothing's as good as being Bluebird. <laughs> Ooh, I love your nest. Let me try. Oh, wait, Bluebird. Oh. Oh. <laughs> You're too heavy. Oh. Oh. I think I'll show Safi my tree costume. Ooh, that's nice. Ahem. Actually, Will wouldn't like a flower. He likes football. Phew! How 
can Big Bear wear a big, thick jumper all day? I'm boiling. to being rosy. Oh, this is going to be so comfy. No! Will, uh, I mean a uh, rosy. Oh, Raggle's hammock, I broke it. What am I going to do? I don't know. But you should know, you're Rosie. She always makes Raggles feel better. Oh, it's too hard being someone else. I don't want to be Rosie anymore. I'm Will. That's who I am. <sighs> what a delightful costume, Holly. I wanted to be a tree. But when I saw all my friends playing together, I wanted to be Holly again. Being someone else can be fun, but being yourself is the only way to be. I wouldn't swap being a cedar for all the riches in the world. I'm sorry about your ball, Will. Well, don't worry. I made quite a mess being you. Oh, and Raggles? Yes? Can you be the proper Raggles again before Big Bear falls through the ceiling? The playhouse is too full of bumps and bruises. Oh, sorry, Big Bear, but I broke your basket. It's okay. I broke your hammock. What? You should all be me. <laughs> I'm the most talented. Well, maybe being ourselves is best. There's one thing we can all do well. Help each other. Good as new. Done. That's better. Not being a tree anymore, Holly? No. I wasn't a very good one. Well, I'm glad. Because I missed all the special things you do to make me smile. I missed you being Holly. <laughs> Thank you, Bluebird. Yes, I wouldn't swap being Holly for all the riches in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I liked being a tree with the wind in my leaves, Oakley. Come on, Holly. Come and play. But I love being Holly. <laughs> Coming! <laughs> and a very fine holly you make, too. There's nothing like being yourself, especially if you are a bluebird. Ta da! <laughs> bluebird, are you okay? Ta da! <sighs> if I get this, I win the game. If you could really be someone else, who would it be? I'm not sure, Raggles. What about me? I'm quite happy being me, thank you. But I'm caring, fun to be with, I've got great ears. You're putting me off, Raggles. And I always win! <laughs> See what I mean? Raggles, you did that on purpose. <laughs> yes! <laughs> it's great being me! <laughs> Ready for the boat race, Raggles? Raggles? <laughs> wow! What a great boat! Oh, thanks, Rosie. I have to beat Will this time. Look! <laughs> I've put a bigger sail on to make it go even faster. Hi, Rosie. Time for me to win the boat race. Again. You might not win this time, Will. Raggles has made a fantastic boat. Really? 
Let me see. It's secret. Hmm. Well, it'll never be as good as mine. I always win, remember? Two hours till the boat race starts, Raggles. I'm going to set up the finishing line. Oh, hello, Rosie. Do you want to see my magic hat trick? Yes, but can you help me decorate Oakley first? He's giving the prizes for the boat race this year. I can show him my new trick, too. <laughs> <laughs> Oakley, you're in a good mood. My old friend Archie has come to stay. Oh, I can't see anyone. Are you sure he's here, Oakley? Oh, yes, Bluebird. Quite sure. <laughs> it's just that Archie is really very special. <laughs> I bet he can't do very special magic like I can. Do you want to see my magic hat trick? So, where is Archie? Oh, he's right here. Aren't you, Archie? You're dead. <laughs> <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> wow, that's magic. What? What are you looking at? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? How did he do that? Archie is a chameleon. Chameleons can change colour whenever they want. It makes them very good at hiding. Ooh, I love doing magic. It's not magic, just something chameleons do. I want to disappear like you, Archie. <laughs> That's a bit tricky with those bright feathers of yours. You can't change them. Ooh, of course I can. Wait there. Oh, this is miles better than anything Raggles has built. Thanks for helping, Big Bear. This is the best boat I've ever made. Hi, Big Bear. Oh, uh, hello, Will. Holly, I bet your boat isn't as fast as mine. Actually, I think it might be even faster. <laughs> Come on, Big Bear, let's test it. I need to see that boat, just to make sure I'm going to win. Finished. That's lovely, Rosie. Oh, hello, Bluebird. Why are you wearing a bush? I'm camouflaged, like Archie. <laughs> Not quite like me. When I want to hide, no one can see me. <laughs> it's not fair. Bluebird? Not long till the race starts. Oh, no peeking. If I could just see it. What's wrong, Bluebird? I thought I was good at magic, but Oakley's friend Archie can make himself disappear. Really? Oh, he's a chameleon. He could be sitting right next to you and you'd never know. Everyone thinks he's really special and... I'm Will, and I need you to join me on a top-secret spy mission. <laughs> it sounds fun. Oh, no. It's very, very important. You're about to join the winning boat race crew. At your service, Will. Let's go. boats like? Um, well, uh, Raggle's boat had a big round thing on top of it. Uh, what do you call them? A balloon? That's it. And Holly's made a flappy sound. You mean it had flaps? What else? Um, I didn't really notice. I was too busy being a top secret spy. Oh, shh, 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 shh. <sighs> flaps and a balloon. I can do that. Let's see. 
Better get rid of these bits first. Ugh. Bluebird? Oh, you can see me, can't you? All I ever wanted is to be special. But you are special, Bluebird. But what about my magic? Archie's disappearing trick is much better than mine. Maybe we could ask Archie to help with your hat trick. How? Come on, I'll tell you on the way. The boat race will be starting soon. No! Well, <gasps> is that your boat? What happened? I was scared it wouldn't win, so I tried to change it, but look. I might as well give up. You have to try, Will. That's more important than winning. I suppose so. But I really wanted to win. Archie, I've got a very important job for you. And Bluebird. Ready? Steady! going to sink. What's the use? Will, look. Oh, I'm winning again. Um, sort of. Oh, look, they've stuck together. <gasps> the boats are flying away. Get them, Big Bear. <gasps> They're too high up. No one can get them now. Hmm? Yes, they can. Go on, Bluebird. <laughs> Before I present the prize for the boat race, I'd like to mention someone very special. We all know who's special around here. Bluebird. <laughs> Without her flying skills, there would have been no boats to finish the race. Oh, it was nothing, really. And now for the trophy. First prize goes to... all of you. <laughs> What's the matter, Will? I cheated. I used Archie to spy on the other boats. I don't deserve to share the trophy. Hmm. It is wrong to cheat. But Will's boat did help us to win. And anyone can make a mistake, but it takes a special person to admit it. We want Will to have first prize too, don't we? Yes! And now it's time for some special magic. Ladies and gentlemen, see, the hat is empty. Zip Kazabara! Ta da! <laughs> you can't see me. I'm a Camille Rabbit. Where are you, Raggles? I'm here. Look, I haven't disappeared. Oh, yes. <laughs> Rosie. Do you think Archie can do other kinds of magic? <sighs> You'll have to ask him tomorrow. If you can find him. <laughs> you watch this, Teal! Fun. 
Shoo! Shoo! What's wrong, Holly? Oh, um, nothing, Rosie. I... I think I'll go and see what Oakley's doing. Bye! Holly! Your roller skate! I'll catch her up. Good idea, Raggles. Rosie! Watch this! <laughs> Bluebird, are you all right? You crashed. Crash? I didn't crash. I, uh, it was just uh, the wind. It knocked me off course. But it isn't windy today. Gently does it, Bluebird. I don't need to go gently. I'm not scared. to do that. It was very dramatic, Bluebird. Don't worry, Bluebird. We all have bumps. The best thing to do is get straight back up into the sky. Up in the sky? I'd love to, Teal, but um, I think I've done enough exercise today. Actually, I think I'm rather bored of flying. I'll uh, just take a stroll back to my nest. Only one skate, Holly. I wanted to put the other one on, but something jumped out and... <laughs> Stop that! <laughs> you think I'm being silly, don't you? It was just a beetly thing, but... No, uh, sorry, Holly. I'm not laughing at you. I'm... <laughs> Something's tickling me. <laughs> ah! I've got your skate, Holly! Why does she keep running off? I'm not sure. Acorns, do you know what the matter is with Holly? Donuts! Donuts! Would you like a lift, Bluebird? Thanks, Rosie. It's a long way home. It'd be much quicker if you flew, Bluebird. No, thanks. Staying on the ground is much more fun. Oh, you can see all kinds of stuff from down here. Wheels are great, you know. Hi, Rosie. Can't see a race. Bluebird's a bit shaken up, so I'm taking her home. We need to go slowly. Hmm. Slowly? No, we don't. Race you to your place. Oh, yeah! Come on, Rosie. Yippee! <laughs> this is fantabulous. Wheels are the best. But Bluebird, what about flying? Flying? <laughs> Why fly when you can wheel? But you can't have Rosie drive you everywhere. You're in Raggle's place. You're right, Teal. Rosie, I need wheels of my own. No problem, Bluebird. This will be fun. Oh, but Bluebird really belongs in the air. Don't worry, Rosie. Bluebird will soon find that out for herself. Oh. Of my very own. Ta da! <gasps> wow! What's that? A bird board. Jump on, I'll show you. You put your wings on these and flap to move the wheels. What do you think, Bluebird? Whee! Bluebird? <laughs> I'm the first bird on wheels. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, hello, Holly. Lost a skate? Not lost. I couldn't put it on. Why not? I... Oh, you'll think I'm silly. Of course I won't. I was going to put it on, but a funny purple beetle fell out and I ran away. Did it scare you? <laughs> you see, you do think I'm silly. It isn't silly to admit you're scared. But, you know, purple beetles can't hurt you. In fact, they're very useful. They clear up leaves and tidy up. <laughs> Just like we're doing. Really? Isn't it terrific? It's a bird board. Why aren't you flying? Fly? You must be joking. Why fly when you've got wheels? Can't stop. I'm racing Will and Rosie right round the garden. Found you. My skate. Thank you, Raggles. Can I help, Holly? 
I'm okay. It was so silly to be scared of a purple beetle. There's no need to feel silly. Why don't you wash your hands and we can have a nice drink after all our tidying up. Oh, the beetle in the bath! It's okay, Holly. I'll take care of it. Careful, Bluebird! Whoa! You don't get stones in the sky, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah! But you can't do that in the sky, either. Don't you miss anything about flying? Not a thing. Not even playing with me? Oh, we can still play together. If you get yourself one of these. Oh. It's all right, little fellow. You see, it doesn't want to scare you. It's just stuck in the bath. Oh, look, Big Bear. It can't get out. It's much more scared of you than you are of it. Don't be scared, Purple Beetle. We have to help it get out. I've got just the thing. I always keep my beetle ladder handy. We saved it. It's not scared of us anymore. And I'm not scared of it. Ah. Oh, this bird boarding's wearing me out. Time for a snooze in my nest. How am I going to get up there? Fly up, of course. But I can't. What if I crash? I mean, uh, uh, of course, I can't go up there. I'm a wheelie bird now. What's wrong, Bluebird? Why isn't she getting into her nest? She needs to fly to get up there, and I think she's scared of flying after her crash. I did not crash. Rosie, look what I found. I was scared of it, but Big Bear told me it was more scared of me, and it needed us to help it, and now I'm not scared anymore. You're right, Holly. Sometimes we need someone else to help us when we're scared. Well, we need to make some little adjustments to that bird board. I've done exactly as you said, Rosie. And we found you the perfect place to spend the night. Oh, great. Where is it? On the May Bluebird. You're back, Bluebird. Whee! It's fantastic up here. I can't believe I left the sky for some silly old wheels. Yay! I think Will's missing his racing partner. Rabbit board race, anyone? <laughs> Never mind, Raggles. Maybe you'll win next time. Oh, you only just beat me. But if I was a bird and you were a bird, I'd definitely fly faster than you. <laughs> How do you know? I just know I'd be a great bird. Night, night, Rosie. I suppose you could flap your ears as well as your arms. <laughs> then I'd be extra, extra fast. Raggles the Bird Bunny. Whoosh! <laughs> You're out early today. The sunshine woke us up. Hi, Will. Hi, Raggles. Fancy a kickabout? <laughs> mm, this is my favourite time of day. My favourite is night time, when it's cool <laughs> and quiet. Night? But don't you sometimes feel a bit lonely out here, Oakley? Oh, no. There are animals who like to come out at night. Nocturnal animals, and they come and visit me. <laughs> and of course, there's nothing better than gazing out at the moon and all the twinkling stars. 
I wish I could sleep out under the stars with all my friends. Well, why don't we? Yes, we could all camp out for the night. Proper outdoors camping. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Do you think you can stay out all night, Raggles? I'm sure you won't go running back to the playhouse when it gets dark. I won't be scared. Come on, Rosie, let's tell everyone. Oh, I loved camping when I was a bear cub. I always used to play my guitar. It'll be my first time camping ever. I'm an expert at camping. Are you sure, Bluebird? Of course. Ask me anything. Um, OK. Uh, what's the most important thing to take with you? Twigs. What are you talking about? Twigs for building your nest. <laughs> we were thinking more of tents, not nests. Tents? <laughs> hmm, I don't know anything about tents. But I'll try them this once. Oh, I can't wait. This is a great place to camp. Oh, but you said that at the playground. And the picnic area. <laughs> Sorry, this really, really is the perfect spot. Let's put up the tents. Look at this place. What? You don't expect me to live in this mess? No, this is the boys' tent. You're next door. <laughs> oh, this is much better. Very nice. Thank you. Hmm, not much space to spread your wings. Come on, let's go outdoors. There's more room. Sleeping bag. Me, 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 me. How's the camping going? Not too well. Are you okay, Oakley? 
I don't suppose you've seen Mr. and Mrs. Maudie the Dormice, have you? No, we haven't. They visit me every night. But tonight, I don't know where they've got to. Maybe Safi knows. We can look for them with our torches as we walk over to her. Thank you. I miss them. <laughs> what animal made that funny noise? Hi, Raggles. <laughs> Only a funny noise. No need to be scared. I'm not scared. Oh, very good. Uh, that's the spirit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Where's Will? Hmm. I think I know. Follow me. How lovely to see you and to share with you this wonderful starry night. Have you seen Mr. and Mrs. Mordy tonight, Safi? Ah, Dormice always appear where you least expect them. We'll keep looking as we head back to camp. Thanks, Safi. Don't forget to look up as well as down. But Dormice live near the ground, don't they? Stop it, Will! What? I didn't do anything! You did? You made that scratching sound. No, I didn't! I won't be scared by a silly old noise. Ho -ho! Hi, Mr. Mordy. At last. My family and I have been trying to get out from our home under this bush to visit Oakley, but your tent was in the way. Sorry. Raggles, you found the dormice. We weren't lost, we were stuck. And someone started shrieking like mad when we tried to get out. Oh, uh, well, uh, maybe now we can get some sleep. <laughs> I just wish we had more room in these tents. Maybe we can make more room. Let's follow the dormice back to Oakley and bring the tent too. I'm so glad you're here at last. Oh. Oh, so are we. Oh, we had to put up with some dreadful squawking and shrieking. Oh, excuse me. Hey, Will, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my own nest. There's no place like it. Hmm. And there's no place like this. It's the most comfortable place I've ever slept. And I got to sleep outside with all my friends. Your first night outdoors and my first night indoors. <gasps> oh, now I know what Safi meant. Don't forget to look up. Oh. Rosie? Hmm? Now I know why I can't sleep. I'm nocturnal. I like being awake at night, like the Dormice. <sighs> so I'm going to sleep all day and play all night. <laughs> so can I borrow your hammock when we get home? <laughs> night, night, Raggles. They want to float up to the sky. I know. I have to hold the string really tightly. Oh, huh. oh there you go, Holly. Oh, thanks, Big Bear. Seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine. Oh. What's that on the ball, Will? It's planet Earth where we all live, but I don't know what all the different places are. Don't worry, Will. Fortunately, I am a well-traveled chameleon. Let me see. This place at the top covered in snow is the Arctic? Really? Oh, I bet that's cold. This large place is Africa. Hoo -hoo, very hot. Yes, 
Yes, I've travelled a lot too, you know. Really? Where have you been? Um, there. Oh, the Sahara Desert? And there. The South Pole? Yes, uh, many times. I love my hill, but I wish I could travel. <laughs> but because my roots are stuck in the ground, I never will. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, all this talk of traveling gives me itchy feet. I want to go off on a new adventure. Oh, yes, me too. Oh, no. <gasps> Gives me an idea. Compass, check. Telescope, check. Sandwiches, <laughs> check. These balloons will take you high up into the sky. And this rudder lets you steer whichever way you want to go. Left, right, up, down. Thanks, everyone. Off we go. Adios. Bye. Bye. Ah, off to see the world. Again? <laughs> First stop, Spain. No, no. I want to go to Egypt and see the pyramids. Oh, there they go, off travelling. Oakley's feeling sad. It's such a shame he can't travel. Hmm. I might have an idea. If Oakley can't go to the world, the world must come to Oakley. We are finally agreed. We are going to see the magnificent Great Wall of China. Agreed. So we need to fly east. What are you doing? East is this way. Ugh. Birds have a natural sense of direction. I have a compass. Look, it tells you which way east is. <laughs> oh, I had a compass. Oh. Here you are, Oakley. Ooh. Your very own round-the-world ticket. Really? But how? <laughs> You're off to Africa. Africa is a very big place, and lots of wonderful animals live there. Tall giraffes, big elephants, and cheeky monkeys. Mmm, <laughs> 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 yummy! <laughs> There are jungles and deserts in Africa and great music. Let's dance to some African drums. <laughs> Rosie, this is wonderful. Ooh, it's like I'm really in Africa. <sighs> Let's face it, we're lost. And whose fault is that, eh? Oh, we just need to go down and ask for directions. We could be anywhere. Wait. I can hear drumming. And I see a monkey. Oh, last time I visited Africa, it took a lot longer to get there. <laughs> that just shows my way was faster. We didn't need your silly compass. <laughs> because your next stop is the Arctic, where the North Pole is. Ooh. The Inuit people who live there sometimes build houses out of snow. Hello. Ugh, it's freezing outside, but lovely and warm in my igloo. And they catch fish through holes in the ice. Hey, 
fish for tea. Well, I never. But we'll have to watch out for polar bears, who also want fish for their tea. <laughs> oh, hey, look out! Behind you! <laughs> Bye! The sandwiches are gone. Sorry, travelling makes me hungry. Me too. I am starving. We'll just have to find something to eat down there. Snow? Hi, caramba! It's the North Pole. <gasps> A polar bear! Fly away! Fly away! Next stop, Australia. Ooh. This musical instrument is called a didgeridoo. <laughs> I love that sound. You'll need a lot of puff to play it. Australia is where kangaroos live. They jump everywhere and carry their babies around in a special pouch. It's also where the boomerang was invented. When you throw one... <laughs> It comes back! Whoa! <laughs> wow, Rosie! I've never seen anything like it! Okay, a boomerang? Huh. We're over Australia? I think we should go down and check it out. <laughs> I've had enough! I don't like travelling! Eh? But we haven't landed anywhere yet. I just want to go home. <sighs> I suppose I am very hungry. Oh, come on then. I slow down! Oh, where are we? Bird. Not now, Rosie. I... Rosie? We're back. Ah! We're back! Oh, Rosie! Oh, we had a great time. We went to Africa and we saw a lion and then a polar bear in the Arctic. Archie was a bit scared, but I helped him through it being such an experienced traveller. <laughs> I see. Well, we were about to show Oakley all about India. Would you like to help us? Oh, India! Yes, I know all about India. Oh, thank you so much, everyone. I really have gone around the world without leaving my hill. <laughs> and so has Bluebird. <laughs> <laughs> if I could travel anywhere in the whole world, I think I'd choose India for the dancing. Where would you choose, Raggles? Oh, a place where there are lots of hammocks and I could lie down and sleep all day. <laughs> ah. Come with me, Raggles. I know just the place.